is extended surfaces or fins for this terminology for the terminology for this content it will be termed as extended surface but we call it as fins it actually you know it took its name from you know body from a fish means the fins from fish okay uh, it has got some fins over you know over its body the fish has some fins over its body so it took the name uh, from that particular object okay so but for this content it is extended surfaces because from the main surface it actually protrudes forward or backward or wherever but there is an extended uh, there is an extension of the main surface okay so the convection okay let me let me show you see this is an extension this is the main surface this is the cylindric body okay but these protrusions these protrusions are actually are actually being extension of the of the main cylinder head of the main cylinder shell okay similarly if you look at this copper coil if you look at this copper coil these are actually attached surfaces to the main copper to the main copper coil surface okay similarly if you look at this radiator okay so these lines these fine meshes these fine lines are actually attached to the coils behind the coils are hidden okay so coils are actually on the back side of this radiator okay so let's talk about what do they do and what is uh, all about fins okay so let's start convection heat transfer between a solid surface what is convection basically and we all know that convection is the heat transfer between a solid surface and a moving fluid is governed by newton's cooling law and we all know and we have seen in my previous videos that the newton's law of convection or the newton's law of cooling is q is equals to h a t s minus t infinity where t s is the surface or the main body temperature and t infinity is the ambient temperature okay the fluid that is the temperature of the fluid that is surrounding that particular object okay so therefore to increase the convective heat transfer one can now first of all uh, let me tell you that first of all we need to increase the heat transfer rate because suppose if you are talking about the engine okay if you are talking about the bike engine or the car engine whatever whatever you take we have to uh, you know increase the rate of heat transfer otherwise the engine will stall because see suppose if we take uh, it is like 1000 degrees celsius inside when the combustion takes place so and the outside is 45 degrees celsius so we have to use this delta t somehow very efficiently and very quickly because if we do not do it and if we have failed to maintain this delta t then what will happen there will be engine seizure and there could be fire there could be sparking and there could be fatal uh, uh, fatal casualties okay there could be death as well so we are not discussing about that but the thing is that what we need to do we need to actually take care of the better heat transfer so either you need to increase the temperature difference that is ts minus t infinity means the difference between the surface temperature and the ambient temperature okay but it is restricted okay you know you do not have any control over it because the surface temperature you cannot go into the engine and uh, maintain that surface temperature you cannot you know you cannot change the uh, environment as well so ts minus t infinity will remain same and it actually changes from block to block so suppose you are in a block and if you go to the another block so there could be a bit of local temperature change or if you go uh, from uh, from say plains to mountains from plains to uh, sea beaches there will be temperature changes so you cannot handle this delta t perfectly okay but again i have already told you you have to have better heat transfer you have to have better heat transfer because other means there is no option you will you need to do this otherwise there could be fatalities okay now increase the convection coefficient h this can be accomplished now let's look at it carefully increase the convection coefficient h full stop this can be accomplished by increasing the fluid flow over the surface since h is a function of flow velocity and higher the velocity the higher the h example a cooling fan yes you can do it by you know, uh, you know by taking considerations of force convection and force convection and free type of convection will be uh, doing it in the unit of convection when i will uh, shoot a video on that okay so h yes blower definitely if you uh, you know uh, if you go for a blower then definitely 
and this is already happening in a bike suppose if we take consideration of a bike or if we take uh, the consideration of uh, of an uh, ac evaporator definitely ac evaporator has a blower behind the coil okay which is actually throwing the air over the coil uh, over the cooling coil so that's a forced convection we are definitely uh, having a higher edge there then had there been no fan uh, behind the ac coil then the edge would have gone down uh, it would have got the lesser edge so we are all, and uh, in case of bike yes we you are moving with a good velocity yes the air is blowing over it with a good velocity over the engine so yes the, again the edge is going higher okay so since the edge is going higher and higher so we are actually taking care of this increasing the convection coefficient now what next but increasing the convection see delta t we uh, we do not have any control over it so the increasing the convection coefficient edge yes we are taking care of it but one thing we more we can, um, one thing more we can do is increasing the contact surface area a increasing the contact surface area a and this topic is all about increasing the contact surface area a how let me just show you see if we talk about again uh, again in this video see this is a copper coil this is a copper coil and these are the protrusions from the copper coil and extension surface a surface extension okay so actually what it is doing it is actually increasing the surface area similarly if we talk about this cylinder okay so this cylinder these protrusions from the cylinder head from the cylinder shell what it is doing it is actually again increasing the surface area similarly radiator these fins of the radiator are again increasing the surface area okay so this topic is all about increasing the surface area and we all know that q is directly proportional to the area and if area goes up q goes up and vice versa is also true if area is less heat transfer will be less so always mention it as heat transfer okay it's not the static heat it is heat transfer and when there is transfer there is you know the time is involved okay